ladies and gentlemen, and my friends abundant everywhere, and boys and girls and others, I am the professor, Julius Sumner Miller by name, and physics is our game. And what is our present game? It is to make clear to you the distinction between heat and temperature. Heat and temperature. These phrases, words, terms are used abundantly erroneously. And so I would hope to make clear their distinction. You know we say it's a hot day. And that has a high temperature and such. But the words have not a clear, unadulterated meaning. Let's try and clear that up. I have here a small potato and a big one. This one perhaps four times the mass or weight of this one. We will imagine the following experiment which will distinguish these two ideas. I put them in my oven. Door of the oven. Put them in. Close the door. You all see that they are in my oven. Door open. Door closed. Yeah, they're in the oven. Now I'm going to bake them. For a long, long time, not for the purpose of getting them ready to eat, but for the purpose of making clear the difference in these words. Let them heat up a long, long time. Heat up. So that I am sure that they are, small one, big one, at the same temperature. Same temperature. They have come to thermal equilibrium with the temperature of the oven. They are the same temperature. T equals T. Now I'm going to have an enormous block of ice. A huge block of natural ice. Why do I say natural ice? Because maybe it could be dry ice, which is not natural ice. And we're going to talk about dry ice another time. Here is a huge block of ice. I take the two potatoes with protected hands from the oven and put them on this huge block of ice. Small potato, big potato. And instantly we see an astonishing thing ensue. This one melts much more ice than that one. They have the same temperature, but the heat energy in this one is vastly more than the heat energy in that one. They are at the same temperature but they have different thermal energies. I can show you that in another way. Here I have a slab of paraffin with different size spheres of iron. Different size. These spheres were heated in an oven and all brought to the same temperature. And then they were put on this block of paraffin. And you can see they melted the paraffin to to different depths. Accordingly, even though they were at the same temperature, they have different thermal energies, different heat energies. And so heat and temperature are now distinguished. So when you say it's a hot day, be sure you know what this means.